There's a frightening infection spreading throughout Italy. The symptoms of this pathogen consist of hating Mondays and having an uncontrollable urge to eat any pizza or lasagna in sight. And shockingly, this all started at an Italian restaurant called Mamma Leon's. I'm Canadian, I don't know how to do Italian accents. And coincidentally, this kitchen is where Garfield started out his entire life. Born and raised, indulging himself on every lasagna and pizza in sight, Garfield was living the life. Okay, didn't Garfield have an owner named John who definitely was not a Italian restaurant owner. Yeah, he did. And um, shut up. Let me let me talk. This binge eating from Garfield was bringing its restaurant's finances to its knees, and they really were struggling to stay afloat. So the restaurant owner made a difficult decision. They had to sell Garfield. They really could have capitalized on him though. He's probably worth millions of dollars. Damn. Ouch. But apparently Garfield wasn't even the problem because they still closed down shortly after. Poor Mama Leon's, or the onions. Poor Mama Onions. <laughs> One day when Garfield was living his boring life in a pet shop, a socially awkward six foot two man walks in. He sees Garfield and little did they know this would spark a friendship that would last over 40 years. But cats don't live 40 years. And now I have a lot of questions. Is Garfield immortal? That would make a lot of sense, actually. Does Garfield pay taxes? Why does Garfield hate Mondays? That's actually a really good question. <laughs> Let's go back to when Garfield first moved in with John and Liam. Is that how you say his name? I, li, Liam? Liam. Liam? Liam. I'm smart, trust me. <laughs> Liam was John's roommate, and the best way to describe him was mildly irritating. But eventually, Liam just disappears without a trace and gets replaced with his dog, Odie. But the true Garfieldians, the, the scientists behind Garfield, they would not put this down. They needed to figure it out, and they still actually don't know. But I like to theorize. Clearly, John didn't like Liam very much, but neither did Garfield, because one day Liam came home with a surprise. Odie. Now, this was no problem with John. He loved Odie. So much to where he started spending more time with Odie than Garfield. So our little furry orange antagonist here started building a resentment against Liam for burning Odie. And well, on this faithful Saturday night, Liam came home with two lasagnas. One for him and one for John my phone went off. <laughs> and this pissed Garfield off so much to the point where he grabbed Liam and ate him alive. And that, that, that's what happened to Liam. <laughs> but that doesn't relate in any shape or form to why Garfield hates Mondays. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Let's dig into this a little bit. Monday is the first day of the week, so John has to go to work. And after spending the weekend with John, Garfield begins to miss him even more. He's feeling sad. All he does every day of his life is just fetch sticks for Odie and eat lasagna and just sit there with his thoughts. It gets really depressing. So that's pretty much what Google says. Yeah. But let's not brush over this. After watching Garfield so many times, you probably notice he, he, he's fucking depressed, bro. I mean, Garfield is probably the most miserable character in a cartoon history for what I know. And quite literally, he's just living the day in the life of a streamer. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. But let's not brush over this. Garfield's life is like an endless loop. Miserable. And he's cold to the ones around him. And honestly, I think this comment comic strip right here would be the best revelation to the Garfield series. Like, I just want to see Garfield be happy. Garfield abruptly wakes up with a cold chill. Everything feels eerie to him, almost as if he's not at his home. He goes to look for John and Odie, but there's no one to be found. The house is just filled with emptiness, the most alone Garfield has ever felt. So he tries to comfort himself with the idea that John just left to get groceries. But when he looks out the window, he realizes that no one has lived there for years. The yard is overgrown and the door is boarded up. Garfield then realizes that he hasn't lived for years. He's died. But then he hears a sound coming from another room. So anxiously, he runs to that sound and he finds John with a bowl of food with Odie. Garfield couldn't be more grateful to see them. And as he grabs the bowl, it all fades away again. Back to the dormant place that they used to call home with nothing but his biggest fear of loneliness. After years of taking life for granted, Garfield is shaken by the thing that we call time. He breaks down in denial, and all of a sudden, he's back home, back with Odie, back with John, offering him breakfast. And it all finishes up with Garfield hugging John. It reads, who needs it? 
I need you. Which we can say it's cheesy. It's a children's book. And I think that's a very freaking heavy comic strip for a children's book, man. And imagine reading that when you're like 14 in the library. That's actually, that's probably where r slash I'm 14 and this is deep originated. But to be completely honest with you, it's something that we all find ourselves doing. Whether you're pushing your loving family away or the first thing you do in the morning is scrolling on your phone, watching TikToks, bro. We can all find ourselves taking life for granted, but truly, man, we don't know how much we have. So just live every day like it's your last day. Um, this video is about Garfield, right? <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that we should learn about is how to balance ego and respect. So, um, go watch th this video about, uh, how to balance your ego and respect. It's actually about rice gum. You should really watch this though. It's actually uh, really good.